Excuse me, your bag is really cute. Thank you so much. Can I see what's in your bag? It seems like it can hold a lot. Sure, yeah, it really can. Let me show you. So, got my phone. Cute little case. My keys. My current read, which is Masquerade by Terry Pratchett. Don't be fooled by the cover art. It looks bad, but it's actually really good. If you're into fantasy, this is specifically about witches. Two older witches are kind of scouting for their third, and she's a younger girl who doesn't know she's a witch yet, and she just joined the opera. So um, it's really good. I'm not super far along into it yet, but it's very enjoyable my water bottle. I always use glass and I had like a metallic, you know, aluminum water bottle, but I was drinking out of it a couple weeks ago and nearly swallowed an earwig. So now I only will drink out of receptacles that I can see through. <laughs> my iPad, this is, I don't know, I've had it for a few years, so it's not brand new or anything. It's like the iPad Pro. 13 inch or something, so it fits really well in here. And then I've got my Moleskine notebook, write down all of my ideas and goals and dreams and how I'm gonna manifest them. And then I've got my little matching planner, although this isn't a Moleskine, it's uh, Rico Bello. <laughs> and it's really cool because it's undated, let me show you. So sometimes I'll go a while without using it but it's no biggie because I can just pick it back up whenever I need to without wasting pages. Handy dandy deodorant. Here is Meadow's leash. <laughs> Things are going now, so don't worry Meadow, soon. I've got an apple in here. Never know when you're gonna need some good fruit. It's locally grown and organic. And then another little snack. It's like a partially eaten pastry that I got from the local bakery today. I'm not gonna show you because it has bites taken out of it, so <laughs> looks kind of gross probably. This is Daphne, my pencil pouch. Just some of my favorite pens in here. And a little water pen marker thingy. When I wanna do on the go watercolor. Of course I don't have my watercolor pouch in here right now actually. My big old linen scrunchie, I love this thing. It's from the Good Alma. I don't think they're in business anymore, but fantastic scrunchie, best one I've ever had. And then to kind of go along with the hair thing, I've got this little, uh, it's actually a shower brush, but since it's so nice and portable, I just carry it around with me. My wallet, of course. Organic tummy soothers. I've got a sensitive tum tum, so I like to carry these with me wherever I go. iPad charger. Meloxicam. It's like a hardcore aspirin, basically. Ooh, two tea bags. Spearmint and healthy cycle. Never know when you'll need to make a good cup of tea an empty envelope, <laughs> fold it up, beautiful. Could come in handy, you never know. Here's a bobby pin, oh, some dog hair. <laughs> and then, something I really like about <laughs> this bag is that it's got a little zippered pouch on the inside. So I have a lot of stuff in here, actually. It's like all my tiny things that I keep in there. Lip balm, I cannot go a day without this. Okay, oh, moisture eyes drops sunglasses. I really prefer using them as a hair accessory more so than on my eyes even. Like I went from feeling kind of like, oh, I probably look kind of tired, you know, to like feeling like a freaking movie star. <laughs> my inhaler, Asthma Girlies Unite. I have this little mascara. I don't wear makeup every single day, but it's so small and it's actually a free sample. So I just like carrying it with me just in case I'm feeling like I need to kind of spruce up a little bit. A roll of doggy bags. Let's see, a pad. And better to have one and not need one than need one and not have one. Travel sickness slash nausea medication. Got some Neosporin and Band-Aids. Smaller Band-Aid in here too, yep. Some, some varying sizes, just in case. Here's a little camera SD card. <laughs> this actually should stay at the shop. I'll leave it here. Oh, this little Romanian flag Ooh. ribbon. Some more bobby pins. That might be it. Oh no, there's one more thing. What is this? Oh, it's a giant US half dollar coin. Whoa. I did not even know I had that. <laughs> 
cool. Well, these are like my good luck charms. Yeah, there you go. On the back, I have this little cloth for screen cleaning, like phone and iPad screen. And it's a really pretty color. I feel like it adds just a nice little pop of something light and cute to the bag. And that is all. This bag, um, if you want to carry it on your shoulder, you can. So that's nice. But I actually always just tuck that inside. And then what it looks like closed, I'll just show you real quick. I never close it all the way unless I'm out and about and there are far fewer things inside. But if I'm at like a restaurant or something, I'll close it up just so no one can, you know, sneakily walk by and grab something out of it. There we go. So this is what it looks like closed up. I'm really looking forward to being a mom someday and this being my mom bag. Before you get a look inside Carla's bag, we'd like to take this moment to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. As small business owners, we experience a wide variety of emotions and mindsets. We're both pretty optimistic most times, but owning a small used bookstore can be really stressful financially. As we mentioned in our Q&A, Carla hasn't brought home any money yet from the bookstore, so her other job is floating her for the time being and I'm barely making enough to pay for my basic living expenses. I haven't been able to buy my usual Prada dresses in months. Jokes aside, we're not saying this for pity. We just wanted to be really transparent honest with you. Owning a business is really fun, but a lot of the times it can be really, really hard. As we work our way through this new chapter of our lives, therapy has been a go-to for us, both on days that we're feeling really anxious and overworked and on days that we're actually feeling pretty good and just need a quick check-in. We love that BetterHelp is online based because with our busy schedules, it can be really hard to find the time to go to physical appointments. Getting started with BetterHelp was really easy. All we had to do was fill out a short survey to assess our individual needs, and they paired us with a professional licensed therapist. Most of the time, this only takes 48 hours or less. Plus, they have over 30,000 therapists to choose from, so if you find that your first session isn't the right match, no problem, at no extra cost to you, you get to try again. Oh, quick tangent. I went to therapy in college, which really helped me get through those difficult, rough patches that a lot of college students experience. That was during the pandemic, so we did video chats, but I honestly wish that they had the option to just message your therapist like you can through BetterHelp, because honestly, when you're super anxious, it can be really hard to log on to those video calls. Yeah, yeah and I also like that you can do a phone call too instead of a video chat, because Personally, I love talking on the phone, but there's something for everybody. And anytime we need to schedule an appointment or have a quick check-in, we just log into our online account and message our therapist. Also more affordable than traditional offline therapy and financial aid is available. If this sounds like a good option for you, head on over to betterhelp.com forward slash bookshop besties. That's B-O-O-K-S-H-O-P-B-E-S-T-I-E-S -E -E for 10% off your first month. Oh, excuse me. What's in your bag? Let me show you. We'll go right over here. It has these nice straps so you can hold it over your shoulder or just my favorite is handheld. And then we can open it up. These cute little clasps. Excuse my nails, but first thing I never leave the house without is my DJI Osmo Pocket 3. This little thing is really great for recording a lot of content in the bookshop. Along with it is the little tripod and then the tiny little microphone. All right, next up, of course, is gonna be my cell phone. Um, this case has my ID on it, so I'm not going to show you too much, but this is an older case. My little cute pop socket broke off, so a little dilapidated, but does the trick. After that, a little makeup pouch. I love the little tassel. And so inside this, we have chapstick, some dog hair. I actually have never used this. I don't usually use chapstick, but my dermatologist, every time I go, makes me take one. Maybe that's a sign. Some motion sickness medicine, hand lotion, motion sickness bands. These are like pressure point ones if I ever get nauseous. Electrolytes, some homeopathy, Carmex. The rest of these things are miscellaneous little hair pieces, so little clippies, things to keep my hair back, and then my favorite Dime Beauty fragrance. These are little handheld ones. Um, this is ILSB, which stands for I Love Your Smell Baby, and Seven Summers, which is my signature scent. So back in the bag we go. 
and also sad beige terracotta is like the thing I gravitate towards the most, as you can see here. Next up, of course, being a bookshop owner, books. That's the thing I love about this bag. It carries so much stuff. My all-time favorite, The Alchemist. I can read this book once a year and get something new from it every time. It's just one of those books I recommend to every single person, no matter where you are in your life. You'll get from it something new. And then we've got Kristen Hanna's The Nightingale. This book has been recommended to us by so many of you, and I thought aesthetically it just matches, you know, it looks cute on the bookshelf. So I'm giving this one a go. So far, so good. And of course, we've got our Bookshop Besties bookmarks in the back. And then in The Alchemist, we have our business cards. How cute are these? Right. Next up, pills. Because, you know, chronically ill girlies <laughs> get it. <laughs> so in here we've got magnesium, a probiotic, you know, spirulina, chlorella, aspirin, and then glutenese. So nothing crazy, but if I eat gluten on accident or have an upset tummy, these can set me right and also if I know I'm going to be you know going out of town for a week or a weekend this is like an easy way to keep my supplements with me poop bag because as a dog owner you gotta have those on hand I have my pure gum this doesn't have aspartame yeah that's how you say that or xylitol no it is sorry this is great gum I have about one of these a day these are the go macro banana bars I eat these like they're a religion. Next up is my wallet from my friend Stephanie, shout out. All right, next up, some more hair clips. Wow, this is getting really chaotic. There's a lot that you can fit in these bags. <laughs> some hair clips, this one's really cute. Little butterfly. AirPods. This is my Kate Spade AirPod case. Pepper spray, I never leave the house without it because you never know what you're gonna encounter on the streets. <laughs> and then this is a stress release essential oil set for my aunt in Canada. It's got a stress release inhaler. I haven't used this one yet. I finished my other one. Stress release um, balm and then a little relaxing ring. How cute is that? Rescue remedy. <laughs> stress release gum. A lot of stress release stuff. Another hair clip. My sunglasses. As Cleo knows and a lot of you who watch the videos know, this is my go-to hair accessory is to put them up like this. It's just, I think it's the most flattering way, maybe not that way specifically, but it's the most flattering way to put my hair up. I don't know what it is about sunglasses. The Leatherman. This um, is something my dad would get me and there's a little collie on the other side. Little Meadow Bentley cousin. It's like a multi-tool and my dad would always insist that I never leave the house without it because you never know when you need a screwdriver or something like that. A pencil that I inevitably stole from the bookshop. More pen. Another hair tie. This is my favorite little Kusheen strawberry candy tin. Super cute. My car keys. I don't know if you can steal any of my identities from this. My hard drive. So, you know, content, recording, everything goes on this little thing. It's two terabytes, which is awesome. And it doesn't have a disc inside of it, so it doesn't, you don't have to like keep it flat, which is great. My passport. I guess I can show you guys some of the places I've been. This is my stamps when I went to Jordan. Aren't those cool? They're super cool. They're like literal stamps. I feel like no one does this anymore, which is great. And then we've got some more. From Romania. Oh, this one's cool. This was the summer I drove, we drove into Hungary. So, fun fact, when you fly somewhere, it has an airplane, but when you drive, it has a car. And this is like the EU sticker. So every EU country has the same format and it just says what country it is in the top left corner and then how you got there in the date. And then it's got some miscellaneous airline tickets and stubs. I just like to keep this as like a little scrapbook. Bag is like Mary Poppins bag. All right. We've got my favorite necklace. It's my Little Rooms Moon Eclipse necklace. And I absolutely love this. I wear it all the time. The fact I'm not wearing it now is because I forgot that it was in my bag. <laughs> my AirTag, no one can commit thievery to me. And then this is a Marzi Schwad. 
which is a Romanian good luck charm that um, historically men or traditionally men give to women in the spring and it's supposed to bring good luck all year round if you wear it so I keep it in my bag to make sure that I am staying lucky and this year has proven to be a very lucky one so yeah this is my wondrous bag of goodies that's honestly impressive that's it so I hope you guys enjoy this video and yeah. thanks for watching yeah